Arm recently posted something that actually got Armies freaking out. Now, if you are unaware, Arm loves to post this whiteboard where he would write out his workout routine. I guess it's fun if you want to follow along, and sometimes Armies are a little naughty. And they capture the reflection of Arm, and we see him on the board, and it's believed he's shirtless. Now, this time he posted that he is actually doing a military workout, and people are freaking out over this. Of course, the idea of him doing anything military related is scary because people don't want to think about it. But thinking more practically, Practically, I actually think it's incredibly intelligent to go ahead and try to work out a little bit more before enlisting. That way when you're enlisting, you're not taken off guard by the strenuous activities you need to do and you're already strong enough for it. It's called the military press and it's also known as the shoulder press, I think. So it's not just something that is done in enlistment, so him doing that has nothing to do with enlistment. But 200 is a bit crazy. Arm also made sure to jump on a live stream when it was announced that Shuga will be enlisting soon or that that he will allow the government to call for him. And Arm spilled some tea on what is going on. First off, he talked about his hair more at length. At this point, we definitely know that his hair was for the hot weather and not shaved for enlistment, but Arm also made sure to talk about how much he appreciates that the fandom still loves and appreciates him, even with short or what he called weird hair. I actually think that the hair suits him a lot, but I actually think what has been the most notable thing that Arm has done during the stream is talk in English. When K-pop idols who can talk in English do, it's a very intentional thing. And I mean when they speak English outside of American interviews. Because during a live stream, especially when they're in Korean and the stream is done in Korean time, the message being said in English is very much a statement that they want to make sure every single person understands. So to not say it in Korean to avoid any translation errors and to make sure it's heard. Aura made sure to talk about the 2025 reunion a lot and talked about how it feels like a vacation currently for him and that he is expecting everyone to come back together in 2025. He talks about how he feels every single member likely feels the same way and he closed it off by saying that Jin and J-Hope will be coming back or discharged in the later half of 2024. Basically Arm was saying that us armies don't really have time to get bored as when Jin and J-Hope get back they will likely release or do something. Jin misses performing so I see no reason why Jin wouldn't just put out an album and get started promoting since he didn't get a chance to do all that. Now because Arm kept confirming this 2025 reunion date, this actually gives us a good hint as to when all the boys will be enlisting and what their plans are. They have likely had a meeting talking about this and if 2025 is still their target date, then everyone will be enlisted or should be enlisted by the end of this year. So surprisingly or unsurprisingly, we finally have confirmation of that. The 2025 reunion date has been in question for a little bit already given that Arm is talking about about releasing a second album. And then we don't know if Taeyang or Jungkook would have had their album done in time. But it's really amazing the amount of work you can get done when that is all you have to do. And then on top of that, you have a team of 30 people working for you tirelessly to put out hit songs. So luckily, the songs that are being written, the concepts and the music videos are already being prepared. And then the other team is working on the promotion and the PR for it. And literally with all that being worked on, you can get an entire album done within a week ready for release. So I think Tiang is going to go do his solo now and then once that is over Jungkook may go and then maybe RM will go and literally all that can happen within four months before the year is over. Jim and MV will be going a bit slower within the next year or so because they quite frankly aren't able to work. They will be enlisting apparently by the end of this year and this is coming straight from them. So what exactly did they say and what happened? If you're not aware, V had a fan meet. This was held in a college and it was a beautiful stadium-like situation. Many of the fans that attended had a great time and V even brought out Jimin. Jimin was asked by V to join and he happily came along as he probably had nothing else to do and was happy to show up and say hi to ARMY. I can only imagine that it's definitely going to be a fun time heading to an event where you know everyone there will love you. Jimin and V both talked about their relationship a bit more and we got to see how close they both really are with each other. None of this is a shocker of course and then many people online address V and Jimin as each other's soulmate. The two started to get a bit more emotional and V addressed a dream catcher that apparently is in his room. If you don't know the context behind this, there's a show that BTS has called Bon Voyage, and they run around the world and visit these beautiful places. 
They visited a place and then Jimin got V a dream catcher. This was after V went into Jimin's room at night asking if they could sleep together because V thought he saw a ghost or something. And it's very cute to see that they kept that gift from each other. It really shows their bond and it definitely something that got armies emotional. A lot of armies remember these things because they rewatched the series over and over again, but they don't think that the boys actually remember, but they do. And I'm sure it means a lot to them. If you do want to watch and react to this series and many others alongside me and other armies and dumplings, make sure you come over to join us over on Patreon. I will leave a link in the description. Now back to the fan meet, V also shared some very cool details that he wishes to appear on a Korean variety show called Running Man before the year is over. V also said that he wishes to go do it with Jimin before the year ends. V also added the line before we have to go this year. Of course, this coupled with the urgency of needing to go on the show definitely implies that the boys plan on enlisting and seems like they plan on enlisting together. This would definitely be very cute and if they wish to enlist together, I hope that they do. But this also implies that they do plan on enlisting either in November or December. And quite frankly, they can literally get everything they want to do by November and just go enlist much sooner so they can come back from the military sooner. Of course, during the event, this huge fun event, neither of them are going to want to directly address some sadder things like them leaving. However, they addressed it in a way where it's still lighthearted, but they were being realistic about their plans in the future. One of the biggest things that had been a big topic of conversation was nothing other than his hair. He recently shaved his head and immediately everyone thought this was about the military enlistment. It's not a crazy thought given that all the other BTS members have shaved their head and then gone and enlisted right after. It's no wonder we are almost all conditioned at this point to think that. RM addressed the rumors about his hair and he said that he actually did not shave his head because of the military but shaved it because the weather got hot and he did it for a more practical reason. RM also recently did a photo shoot with Days Magazine and then he had his shaved hair all colorful. So as he promised the shaved head was definitely more so for personal reasons and he was able to be artistic with it as well. However, the saga of arms shaved head doesn't just end there. There is more and more tea that comes out. Subin actually did a live stream and surprisingly actually talked about RM and his experience with RM. If you are not aware, TXT is BTS's successor and they also all interact and see BTS often in the high building, likely through dance practices and just overall. I think BTS members really believe and love TXT. RM ran into Subin and Subin was curious to see what happened with RM's shaved head. This is of course when it was first shaved. Shubin said that RM looked very handsome with his shaved hair. Subin asked in a very polite way if there was something that was wrong. And by this, of course, he meant if RM is going to be enlisting soon. Of course, RM replied to say that it was a weather thing. Subin then said that he wanted to take inspiration from RM and actually shaved his head too. And I definitely think no one would fault TXC for taking inspiration in that aspect. Subin also talked about the military to say that he might appear one day with a shaved head. And when asked about the military, during the live stream, he said that he, it's still very far away and he doesn't want to think about that right now. People also think that Subin exposed Arm's enlistment date to say that Arm might be enlisting soon, which is why Subin even asked if everything was okay. And it's interesting because people think others that are inside the industry, like Subin or staff, would know when Arm is enlisting. However, Subin wouldn't know just like the rest of us. I'm sure the members don't even know when they would enlist until it's told to them. I think they get a few weeks to a few months notice on exactly when they would have to enlist. Sometimes it's much sooner and I'm sure a lot of the BTS members knew much sooner but just decided to announce it within the week. They enlist so as to not cause mass panic which it does anyway but at least this way there's less time for armies to freak out because imagine freaking out for an entire month with that enlistment date looming over. People think that he will shave his head completely very soon and we are seeing the start of that meaning the enlistment is not going to be too far and we actually almost got a new update on the military situation. There is a Twitter account called Big Hit Info and they allegedly provide information for all artists under Big Hit. Now I don't know the credibility of the account but that's not as important and you'll see why in a little bit. 
but the account talks about how the remaining BTS members will enlist by the end of this year. This includes V and Jungkook who have not had anything out yet. But then later in the tweet goes on to say that Jungkook will have solo ventures in early next year. But how? If he's gone by the end of this year? Then they went to say that Jungkook and V can apply for postponement but are choosing to go now so they can come back sooner. That part is fine but the reason why it's not as important if this is true or not is because the fandom believes it's true and I want to say that we must not jump the gun until we have an official statement from Hive. So reading this tweet makes it appear like that we know the date but we actually have no idea when the date is. The likelihood of Jungkook enlisting by the end of this year in my opinion is quite low. I think it would be entirely too rushed and I think Jungkook would have an explosive album cycle meaning he would have a lot to do. He will attend more fashion shows, he will have a ton of promotion and press to do and there's a big possibility that both of them and Hybe would prefer to do a world tour like what Shuka did and if they want to make any significant amount of money from the tour then they have to do significant shows which means it will take a few months. So my theory is maybe middle of next year and this would give V an opportunity to have a good album cycle and promotion cycle as well and I think his album will be explosive too. With all these coverage of hair and possible topics of enlistment it seems like Jungkook is not really scared over the idea of enlistment. It seems to be something that he is at peace about and is definitely not scared to go and do. I think he would even look forward to the idea of doing something very different and new and I think since he is very buff lately and is very strong the military won't really be an issue for him at all. He can definitely do it. Now Jungkook definitely still has an album going on and he has to do that very soon. Some people were saying it's going to be right after he finishes his album like within the week but that I don't think is likely. The idea of enlisting is only going to come after the album drops and I actually have a big feeling that he would choose to do a bit of a world tour before he goes. I'll talk about this a bit more later but I can totally see him wanting to do that and the fact that songs might be in English will definitely allow him to perform in more places. Now the conversation of how long it will be after Jungkook drops his album Will He Enlist is definitely more so up for speculation but not wild speculation as the speculations make a lot of sense. If Jungkook wants to make sure he makes it back by the end of 2025 he definitely will have to enlist by the middle of 2024 meaning at the latest he can go is June and I believe he may wait until then. People freak out over the enlistment but as we can see the boys have plenty of time before they all have to go and I think they will use their time wisely. I think ARM will have an album out by then and some of the other members like Jimin might have something as well. The boys can release something and release during when they enlist and by the time they release one or two things Jin will be back and he hasn't even released an album yet so he will likely have an album out and promote it and then J-Hope will be back. We honestly won't even notice that the boys have been gone for really very long. There could possibly just be a few months in between where we might be like where are they and the other times they're back. I also have a feeling we won't be missing a Jungkook even if he does decide to enlist right after the album drops and it doesn't do much promotion because he will have things out for us. And also if his music does end up being managed by Scooter Braun or is mostly English those songs will be on American radio and collecting spins for a really long time. So we literally constantly hear him on rotation and in the airways for as long as he is gone. Now one of the main reasons I believe he will not be enlisting right away and right after the album drops is because I believe he will do that world tour. Now why do I think that? Jungkook as of recording has not claimed that he will do a world tour but there's a lot of speculation that says that he will. Jungkook has performed seven all over the world recently. He's flown to the US to perform it, he's done it in Korea and he's obviously been flying all over. If his album is anything as popular as Seven is it would make no sense for him not to try to promote that all over the world and if there is a big demand for his music in various parts of the world. It makes no sense why Hive and Scooter Braun are not going to encourage him to do a full concert in those areas. If you keep adding on concerts sooner or later it's not just one-off shows but it's a full-blown world tour. News sites and reporters have reported on the same thing to say that since Jungkook headlined for global citizens and probably sees the people that show up it wouldn't be smart to not do at least a show in New York meaning if he does go through with such a tour or whatever he may end up enlisting months after the album drops and definitely not right away. Sugar at the concert also talked about how he doesn't know when he will see everyone and then spoke about how it will be 2025 and we should all make plans for them. This was directly saying that he will enlist but we didn't get an official announcement yet. 
But even from this, many armies were already crying and being super sad. They think this was Suga's final goodbye, so we did get a goodbye message, sort of from Hive, which I will talk about more later. But people think that Suga being saluted by the members and saying what he said during the concert was his final way of saying goodbye, but I don't think so yet. I think we'll get a real goodbye very soon, and by real goodbye I mean he will have a military goodbye video that will be posted similar to J-Hope and Jin. I really don't think he's going to go off right now, and that was the last time we would hear from him until 2025. Now, if you're unaware, we have official confirmation of Shuka's enlistment. It's not just speculation anymore, but Hive officially released a statement to say that Shuga has filed to remove his postponement. So I know that sounds confusing, and if you don't read it carefully, a lot of these headlines look like it says that he is not enlisting. But all BTS members who have applied are allowed a deferment or delay of their service. Normally, South Korean men need to enlist by 28. BTS, given the BTS law, are allowed to enlist by 30. This was their special exemption for everything they've done to their country. And as of right now, that's all they can do. In the future, there may be a first group that will get exempt, but right now it's not BTS, unfortunately, or fortunately, whichever you think. So Suga took that off, and then only a few more weeks will he be officially called on by the government. So once that delay form is removed, the government looks at the age of every man in the country, and they just send out the enrollment applications to those that are eligible. And so Suga will be going soon. It's pretty clear that it will be soon, and people are definitely sad about it. Just because we knew that it would happen definitely does not mean we are not sad about it. We can still feel sad and be happy that he will enlist soon. Many are more so sad about the lack of content from Suga, but also just what Suga will look like. Unlike the other members, Suga has kept his hair very long for his solo, and people are definitely very sad to see him having to shave all of that off before going. It's just so luscious and big. There became memes online of people saying what Suga will need to do to his hair, and then jokes asking if Suga's hair could just be exempt from being shaved. Some even think that the shaving head date is coming very soon, and I agree. I think it will be happening very soon, but we should not be scared of it happening. I can understand that this is definitely a hard pill to swallow as not just a goodbye to the artist, but sitting there and knowing that the shave was not their choice and the shave represents a change in self. This is a hard pill to swallow. It's hard to acknowledge that the artists will be different. And I think deep down, the armies are very scared that Suga and the other members are going to change either their music or personal style once the service is over. They definitely promoted for a long time a much softer, gentler BTS, and so possibly seeing a new version of them I think makes some fans feel that they may not like the new BTS. However, I doubt this will be true. I think overall them going to the military is only going to strengthen the connection to their audience. They know from their pre-debut days that life is hard and they had a lot of financial struggles. But a lot of those problems don't exist for them anymore. Of course, they still have many problems, but those problems are less relatable. This is one of the reasons why artists will often just make music about love and dating, because this is the only thing that no matter if you're rich or super poor, can you relate to. People all know what heartbreak feels like, or someone not loving you back, whereas when an artist tends to sing about their mansion problems, a lot of the newer generation of listeners will tend to tune out because we don't want to hear about those problems as we are all struggling to pay rent. So BTS and Suga going to the military and almost grounding themselves again will give them more inspiration to talk about more topics that are more relatable. I guarantee someone from the camp will probably inspire a new song that one of them would write. They used to write songs like Spring Day and Euphoria, which were about darker, relatable topics, which I am sure ARMYs would love to hear more of again. ARM then said an interesting comment about the military to say that he isn't not enlisting anytime soon, but then quickly went ahead and followed up, this will be the last time you will see me perform on stage until after the military. And this is a bit contradictory in my opinion. We know that the boys don't like to go very long stretches without performing. During the COVID shutdown situation, the members were very angsty to get out and perform again. They talked about it as much as they could and during every interview. So this idea that ARM would go a long time 
time without performing on stage makes no sense. So by saying that he is not performing on stage anytime soon before the enlistment, but then saying that he won't enlist anytime soon doesn't make much sense to me. But you have to tell me what your thoughts are. But if this is true, and then the rollout for the second album will likely be no performances and maybe just some press. As I said so a couple times before in the past, artists and labels nowadays make more money doing online concerts, brand deals, and just selling CDs or one-off singles than they do touring. I think this could be a hard concept to understand because there's so many people that go to these concerts and pay upwards of hundreds of dollars to go. How would they make less? Also, so many singers have made their millions through touring. Touring costs a lot of money. If you're someone who is like BTS and the status and big name of BTS, your shows definitely cannot be lame. It has to be a big experience. So less quiet, intimate venues and more dancing and big light shows. With big stadiums, of course. This costs the label a lot to move the prop from city to city, hotels, lights, the hundreds of crew, the venue costs, security, and so many things. On top of that, the artist has to pay their management team and everyone else that is coming along the tour. They can definitely make a couple million per show, but we're looking at numbers like almost $10 million per brand endorsement, like what BTS got paid from McDonald's. So looking at similar numbers and less overhead costs, why would a brand choose to tour? Artists also get extremely sick and tired during tours, and most artists don't like to tour due to the stress. While it's good money maker, it's not the only money maker, and the other stuff labels can release and announce while the member is in the military, and doesn't require the boys to actually be present. They can literally still have money hit their bank account without them ever doing anything extra. So I am very excited to see what RM does with his solo album, and what does this mean for his enlistment? Do I think he may be going a little sooner? Yes, but if he's saying it's not that soon, I will believe him. However, given that we don't actually know what his definition of soon or not soon is, I don't know how much we should take it with a grain of salt or how much we should take it more literally. The boys have jumped from one thing to another and it's even rumored that Jimin and V will be starting their military enlistment soon and heading on to a whole new adventure. This is definitely something a lot of the fandom has been talking about lately. It went from not wanting them to go and saying goodbye to begging them to hurry up and go so the 2025 reunion date doesn't get compromised. There was also some heavy news coverage not too long ago where people were reporting that V and Jimin were going to enlist together. And it was definitely a good theory, as it seems like they both could definitely just go. During V's recent fan meet, Jimin joined and talked about going on a variety show with Jimin by the end of the year, and specifically says the words, before we have to go, implying they would go together, or at least go before the end of the year, even if they go separately. Now, it's believed that Jimin and V have addressed it in a very unique way. And it's actually very funny because it doesn't make much sense at all, but people have their theories. So what happened? Jimin posted a photo of an egg, and you might think, oh, maybe the egg is a metaphor that was famous in Korea for meaning rebirth or something like a new life in the military. But nope, this is not the theory that people went with. Instead, they said that the egg represents a bald person, and this was Jimin's way of saying that he is shaving his head and is about to enlist very soon, because that makes a whole lot of sense. And then V apparently posted a photo of an orange, which is also bald, or at least round, so people thought that since the two were posting things at the same time and had a similar bald message, that this just means that they're both going to enlist together like that they formally implied during their fan meet situation. I want to say when I saw the egg, I initially thought of that Instagram most liked photo, it being a picture of an egg, and I thought that that was the message. I also thought it would have meant that Jimin was trying to say that he is being reborn for that second album that he has hinted on working towards. Also, Jimin is often known as a chick or baby bird within the fandom. Each member is associated with an animal, so this could be Jimin's way of hinting towards a new concept rather than a military enlistment message. Now you might think, well, what does Tam's picture mean then? Well, it doesn't really have to mean anything, and that's okay for Tam, because he has post pictures in the past that don't really mean much, like photos of his feet or silly things like that. And so Tam takes random pictures of things all the time. He probably thought that orange looked really pretty and just snapped a photo. And plus, the bald theory doesn't really make any sense because as we can see in the photo of the orange, it's not bald. It has a little green patch of hair on top. It's believed that V is kind of saying his goodbyes recently and it's causing a lot of emotion. People think that since he is sort of saying his goodbyes, that he must actually be leaving very soon and possibly within the next few days or weeks. However, nothing is confirmed and we have no idea when he is going to enlist. But how did people come to this conclusion? 
Well, there was another post that V posted on a story that caused a bit of an uproar. V posted a photo of what appeared to be him camping by a fire. I think it was camping because it was a photo of a fire inside some metal things. But on the top of the fire, I can see aluminum and usually people put food in that and then put it in the fire, either corn, potatoes, whatever. And there appear to be many of them. So either V is going to have that all by himself or he's with a group of people. Given it looks like there's four or five wraps of something, and that is the amount of members in the Wooga Squad, people think that this is a photo of the final get together of V and the Wooga Squad. The Wooga Squad is the friend group that V was in for In the Soup Friendcation, so the group means a lot to the fans as we've all watched and invested our time into their relationship. Also, if you want to join and watch that series with me, please check out the Patreon. We stream that whole season over there. I'll leave a link at the top of the description. But anyway, the friend group actually addressed V's enlistment very recently. So one of the actor friends in the Wooga Squad was holding a tour meeting and a lot of people came by. His name was Park Young Shik and he talked about how a dear friend of his was going to enlist very soon. Of course, us being the fans can pretty much deduce who he means by this, and we know it is V. Just a side note, oftentimes celebrities will just kind of let the fans figure it out rather than just saying the name because when they say a celebrity's name, especially if that celebrity is more famous, the person who said the name will be considered a name dropper or cloud chaser. But anyway, the fact that one of V's close friends talked about this shows that V is indeed leaving soon and perhaps they did spend a moment together before all of the craziness. So once the enlistment is considered in the process, it's only a matter of days before they receive their enlistment letter. Then they have a week or two to actually go. So you never know when it could be, so spending time with everyone as soon as you can is what you have to do. And I really hope V did spend time with everyone. I know we touched on enlistment, and I wanna to touch on it a bit more. It was reported by several documents and news articles that Hive will announce the remaining members' enlistment dates before the year ends, and it's also believed to be maybe in December. This is great news for anyone, I guess, waiting for the news and the announcement. It's also great for people who are waiting for the BTS reunion as this would be the first step before they can come together again. However, I don't know how accurate these articles are. First off, is it possible that Hype can announce everything? Yeah, definitely. However, it probably won't be announced before everyone else is aware or before the members know because the government doesn't release that information. They typically just send a letter to the idol when they're ready and that's how they know. So Hype definitely won't be the first to know. I think the members could potentially even talk about it themselves before Hive even announces it. And then the second thing is, will they all go together? People think this because they are potentially being announced together. If these articles are true and they need to go soon, so are they going to be enlisting all at once? However, probably not. The individual members have talked about the things that they are working on, and so some members, due to their projects they may be working on, may choose to stay and work on those projects before going, and other members may even choose to go earlier. We have to also remember that Bang PD mentioned that the 2025 reunion is more so a hope and not a guarantee, although RM says it's guaranteed, so it could be either. But we do have to note that the members may also not know exactly how long their promotion or second album cycle could take if they want to do that. So they might think it'll only take a few weeks, but then it takes months and delays the enlistment. However, regardless of this, the reunion will happen and probably latest 2026. And we honestly won't even notice that they're gone. Hype will have so much content out and we will see the boys online. The fandom has so much fan-made content, so there's a lot that could come out for us. Personally, my hunch would be that each member will probably enlist earlier of next year, which means that the members who want to do a second solo album or whatever need to have the album ready to go and ready to promote by the end of December. So this is actually very exciting news rather than sad news because we are very close to seeing way more BTS content and individual member content very soon. Soon, I cannot wait. The announcement of the remaining members enlisting was quite jarring because I think people were expecting that the members would release something once more before going. And I think it was because the members had hinted towards that. People were saying that Hive's social media staff releasing this was likely their way of saying that Jungkook will enlist in December and possibly even early December. People have many theories as to what the initial statement of the remaining members enlisting and what that could mean. The statement basically said that the members have begun initiating the 
the process of a listing very soon. And if you're not aware, this is how that process works. So in most normal cases, once you are a man in Korea that is eligible age and able-bodied for inscription, usually 18, the government will reach out to you via a letter. Once you're called, you then have a certain number of days to formally either register or you're already registered and then you just go and they get a date as to when they'll be summoned. And then I think you can reject your summon only a couple of times. Now, BTS's case is very different given their impact on the economy in South Korea. While they didn't fully get exemption, they did get something. They were allowed a BTS law, which basically pushes their enlistment age to 30. So normal people have to enlist by 28. They can wait until they're 30. They have to formally file to get this extension and each member already did. Now, what began the enlistment process could mean is that they are removing the extension so that the extension is no longer protecting them from the government letter. So once it's removed, they could get that letter at any time. So it's believed that the members got that, but we actually have no idea if that is true or not. Now, there's been some debate as to whether Jungkook was saying December, meaning he will enlist that date, or if that month means something else. I do want to add, and I think it's important to note that whatever news story that is being told will always have some pushback from specifically the K-pop fandom. If the news comes out and confirms an enlistment date, there will still be people saying that the news site is lying because they don't see the government alert, but also will refuse to Google it themselves. And then there's people who just don't like the news, so they will call it fake. And then others like me are a bit delusional. But if I were to take off my delusion glasses, to me personally, it seems like Jungkook is saying that he will enlist in December. It just reads that way. And why even throw out the month December in the same statement talking about enlistment if it's not that month you'd go? It just doesn't make entire sense unless he is enlisting then. However, I could be wrong, right? That's not the first time I would be wrong and things can happen and change. Another meaning for what December could mean is even a world tour. And this is one that is just more so far fetched and probably not true, but if you want to believe it and be delusional with me for a second, then here is that. He puts the month December and when he formally says military in two different sentences, and then he says he will start a new journey in December. And that could mean tour. I just really want a tour. And I get that he might not want to and touring is very stressful, so why subject him to that before doing military service? But anyway, I'm curious as to if you think the letter is a literal date being said and that the staff had let it come out, or do you think it's not? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for the comments right here. Love you. Bye.